I'm curious, uh, kind of about some mentorship, like how did you, well, first of all, there's a couple different things, but you said you went on a two-year mission. You said you were in the military. Who did you have growing up that was pouring into you, that was kind of leading you into maybe even decisions or encouraging you a certain direction? And then who do you have now? Yeah. Um, so to be honest, uh, I don't feel like this is fair to say, like, I want to say no one. Um, Mm -hmm. at the beginning. And I don't feel like that's fair to say, because like my parents are good, good people, but they're people that, you know, struggled paying their bills. They've been bankrupt a few couple times. Like um, they never asked me about what was going on in school. They didn't really care about what was going on in my little world. So I think I was, I was left it to myself Mm -hmm. um, in all reality. Um, And that's a long story in and of itself. But uh, currently or through my journey, a lot of my mentors have literally been reading books. Like I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with self-improvement and growth. And I think everybody should be. Um, so I constantly am reading books. I'm constantly listening to podcasts. Um, I have a lot of mentors that don't even know they're my mentors. Cause it's not like a formal thing yeah. uh, that I learned from. So I've got, I've got a lot and I've had a lot of key mentors that have helped me along the way to get to where I'm at today for sure. Yeah. That's awesome. And I love the books thing. I think that's such Um, an easy path for people. And it really is. It's crazy if you really think about it. And I know people have talked about it before, but if you think about it, a lot of books are a lot of hours. Sometimes it's an entire life wrapped up in one book. Uh, So it's like having a mentor in your pocket. So sometimes I feel like people can overlook the book as a mentor because it's so simple. It's so easy to access, but man, there's, there's gold in books. And, and I wish more people would, would open their eyes to that. And what's so funny about it too, this is, you know, and I know you're uh spiritual and, and Christian and stuff, but like yeah. the easiness of the way, like for whatever reason, because of the easiness of the way, a lot of times we don't do these things that have huge implications and impact on our life. Yeah. Um, and I, I love reading books actually the way I do it. And this is just a little hack that's been super helpful for me is I listen to it on like a 1.5 speed or higher, but typically about a 1.5 speed. I read along with it, with the book and the audio, and then I'll pause it, make notes. Right. And I just learn so much faster that way. That's awesome. Yeah. That I've never tried that before. Um, usually I'm like highlighting things and, and doing that, but I bet that helps a lot. Oh, a ton. And it, and it helps me read faster. Like I've learned to read faster just because it's on a faster speed. So I'm yeah. hearing it at a faster rate, but anyway, and talking that's about being, little... yeah. Talking about being present. I mean, you are present. Like you're not, you're not focused on any audio while you're reading. Cause that's sometimes I can do when I'm reading. If I'm in an environment, my mind can wonder. And then I yeah. go through a whole page and I'm like, crap, what did I just yeah. read? I got to go back and read it. 